So I soon am playing Overdrift and... Eh, we'll see. Hmm. So many fun ones. Let's try another Railgun one. I've been wanting to try... Maybe the new siege weapon recharge shot with it. Could be useful. Siphon? Yeah, let's do siphon again. It's not incredibly strong, but it is useful. It's a way of doing damage to the enemy. while still getting some shield recovery. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I do not want the engineer. Honestly, not entirely sure I want any of these. Carrier at least could be interesting. I don't think I want battery here. Nah, not with Railgun. My shots are inaccurate enough as is. So do I go Carrier? Let's try Carrier Volley. This could be... Interesting. Probably not horribly effective, but interesting. Oh, do I want Twin Strike? Okay. Okay. Probably would not have taken Volley if I knew Twin Strike was in the offering, but... Go all in? Yeah, let's go all in. Again, this is not by any means going to be some optimal build path, I'm fairly certain. But it is going to be interesting. I hope. Probably be even more interesting if I actually hit things, but <laughs> we take what we can get. I don't particularly know if I want any of this. Maybe the shield effect radius, but it's not exciting. Okay, now these are Blast Race is good as is Magnitude, but I think I'll just take Rapid Fire. Homing strike? I don't want the guidance. Do I want skirmish? I do want the skirmish. Because I think I want essence sap here. I do believe I want essence sap. That way I can keep taking twin strikes without worrying at least about my hull recovery. If I don't give it my shield, and I don't think I'm going to give it my shield, it will still impact my shield recovery rate. But I won't worry about my whole recovery rate at the very least. Uh, burst fire, not horribly exciting. Whole regeneration, unnecessary if I get singular strike. Spontaneous generation just kills my swarm faster when I'm carrier. Less than ideal. Warpath is fine, Blitz is fine, Magnitude's fine. I'll take the Blitz so it gets me closer to Essence Sap.
I have to get up close to make sure all my real guns actually hit. Go ahead and take the essence sap. Go ahead and take the essence sap. You can die anytime you'd like. Of armor. I wouldn't mind homing strike here. <laughs> it gives me yet even more rays on the screen. Why don't we? Get a mine, apparently. Didn't even know they were there. Yeah, this is not going to win any awards for high damage output. We've sort of scattered our our attacks a little too much for that. But we might be able to make up for it. Are we going to really take singular strike after doing all this? I don't think that would be very effective, no. Surely not. No, it probably wouldn't be as good as... Yeah, with the with the reductions in velocity, which Railgun uses as a damage increase modifier, I doubt Singer Strike is a good path here with this setup. Might be interesting just to see exactly how effective it is, but... I think that would significantly harm this build in a way that even I'm not willing to do, at least just yet. I'm having too much fun with this setup right now to just throw it away to see what happens. Again, for now, I might be convinced to do it later. Get you to die. Would you die, please? Hmm, I guess mastery is not too shabby here. probably want to look for a charge shot, maybe? That would give me a significant damage boost. Do I want elegant construction? It would help my swarm stick around longer. I'm not going to give up my shield, though. I'm not giving up my weapon. Self-destruct is a little extra damage. I'll take the elegant construction just to get the swarm out faster. That seems worthwhile to me. Especially later in the game, as your level goes up and your maximum swarm limit goes up and the enemies get more and more challenging being able to actually get the swarm out there is fairly important. Do I want terminate? Terminate could be very useful against these bosses and tank your enemies so yeah I'll go with a terminate. And of course it's a nice little bonus damage to my weapon so That should not be completely discounted. Oh, hello, who are you? Mine specialization seems horribly unwise here. Um, blast rays could be good, velocity even better. More velocity equals more damage, even without the damage increase. We are definitely happy to get some of that going. Snipe also very handy for similar reasons. Oop, that's a lot of enemies attacking at once. Let's try not to be 
right where they're about to fire. Armor could be good, but I really... Am I going to take another Twin Strike? Yes. Yes, I'm going to take another Twin Strike. Because of course I am. Good grief and a half. Um, anyway, as I was saying, uh, what was I saying? I think I want the charge shot. Yeah, and I want snipe. Uh, I don't know if incendiary strike is all that useful with this kind of setup, but it could be a little extra damage. Especially if I get candescence. The main problem with going down that path is purification is less useful to me. Corrosion uh, is probably all not useful either. Truth be told. Alright, Lance is about to pop out, so let's go elsewhere. Well, I said the damage output with this was not too good, and it's not incredible, but we did get close and managed to kill that boss very quickly, so I cannot complain overly much. Snipe, I was just talking about you. Very nice for our damage output. Very, very nice indeed. Oh, did not see you down there. My apologies. Rude to ignore a guest like that. Or am I the guest? I have said <laughs> before that is the lore of this game the, this multi-species alliance against me because I'm some kind of bad guy? It does seem like a lot of people very angry at me from a lot of different backgrounds and cultures for <laughs> no reason that I know of, but still suspicious. Uh, do I want Warpath here? Let's get Solar Heart. Uh, I do have Essence Sap, though. Ooh. Let's do it. Let's do it. See if it's worthwhile to have that extra damage. I do like the missiles, though. Again, Essence Sap still counts those little missiles it launches as... enemies. So they do help with hull regeneration, which is very handy, because otherwise you would be in a great deal of trouble. Do I want to calibrate here is the next question. Probably, even though it does reduce my coverage, it would allow me to kill bosses more quickly, which would be nice. Well, I asked for it, so I'm not going to turn down. Uh, Self-destruct is fine. Do I want bravado? What would that get me? Faster swarm construction, higher swarm limit. It's not nothing, but it's not horribly impressive either, is it? Uh, do I want allies go down the guardian path? Uh, I don't really know if that fits the theme of this build. Focus fire. Okay, let's try it. With Calibrate, that will significantly decrease my coverage area, but that can be a good thing. Let's me tackle enemies, tank your enemies that would have trouble focusing on without that upgrade. And I can always tap fire. To still have a fairly long range. Yeah, it's not that bad if I just tap fire. A little harder on my fingers, but it's acceptable. Mm -hmm. 
I can definitely feel the difference gameplay now compared to when I was a teenager. Getting the old man sticky fingers. Thankfully no arthritis or anything, but still. <laughs> I can definitely feel the difference the age has brought upon us. Do I want a grandeur? I think I just want the force armor. Uh, yeah, I just want the force armor here. Be practical. Yeah, that's not too, too shabby. He gets, even with targeting, I still miss far too often. Ally with ally specialization. Tempting, but I think I'll just take the shield cooldown. It's probably more useful to me right now. Makes up for the twin strikes I've taken. With Essence Sap, I probably don't want to lose my shield too, too often. Does that mean I want to try emergency systems? Hmm, possible. <sighs> I don't think I want any of these. Not even Warpath. Juggernaut? That could be useful. Makes me slower, but means my hull increase is useful, as is the Essence Sap. Health regeneration. Just need to cut my way through that first layer so I can do this number. <laughs> Oops, do not want to do that though. Yeah, it's... Ah, so close. Almost made that one. Ugh. Well, I guess this will be a short episode today. Haven't had a run go quite that badly at this boss for quite a while. Hmm. Annoying. But still, an interesting way of looking at that build. Definitely don't take Fusilade with that. If you're going to just take Twin Strike, just take the Twin Strike and be happy with that. Even Volley's probably a mistake there. When you're depending on the damage of Railgun, which improves with Velocity, it's pretty hard to take something like a volley and the downgrades it gives you and still be competitive with a lot of other builds. But still, I don't always like to play just competitive builds. I like doing things differently every now and again. And again, just to see what happens. Sometimes that's fun in and of itself. But so it goes. As ever, thank you all for stopping by.